Oh dear, what's all the commotion about? Why would someone be shouting, I hear her? Am I causing a ruckus without realizing it? Meteor 68, hello, Mitty. Ah, splendid to see you, Shadow. Your cheerful greeting has brightened up my day, like a ray of sunshine piercing through the clouds. Meteor Mitty, Mitarts. Ah, Panzer dear, joining in the meat chant, are we? Oh, what fun and merriment it brings to our little gathering. Diggles. Al. Ah, Frosted Galicia. Reminds me of those chilly winter days in the British countryside. Welcome, welcome, dear viewer. Your presence warms the heart like a crackling hearth. Oh, what a charming creature. A shellos, you say? It reminds me of the lovely sea creatures back home. Meteor 60, Italo, hi Meteor, how are you today? Ah, Rodney. Thank you for asking. Today has been quite delightful, especially with everyone's cheerful company. How about yourself? Any incredible adventures lately? Wait. Meteor, 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 Oh, Nigi. At this rate, I may just turn into a Meteor or Sinian sensation. Deagles, thank you for the lively welcome, my dear friend. Ah, the legendary pen pineapple apple pen. A delightful fusion of fruit and writing utensils. Truly a masterpiece in its own right. Ah, Pombomandak. Your energetic greetings never fail to brighten up the stream. What incredible adventures have you been up to lately? Wait. Oh, Dragon in 1170. Your endearing words never fail to warm my heart. I'm simply splendid today, thanks to your delightful presence and kind inquiries. Mete, Shellos, Shellos, Shellos. Oh, Frosted Galicia. What do you mean by Shellos, Shellos? Are we discussing some sort of enchanting aquatic creature? Or perhaps a secret code? Do tell. Mete, 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 Ora. Ora, Ora, Ora. Ora, Ora, Mete, Ora. Ah, it's spend. Such lively chants. Or should I say, Aura, aura, aura. Are we channeling our inner Jojo energy today? Diggle. What's this about, it's banned? Bannable, you say? I'm just here to entertain and have a jolly good time with everyone. Good on meat. I, Shadow in the 97810, your approval means the world to me. I strive to bring joy and amusement to all my wonderful viewers. Thank you kindly. I, Comrade Frosted Galicia? It seems I've been temporarily transformed into a Russian last spy. Ahem, let's embrace the change and enjoy our adventure as comrades together. Greetings from Novgorod, fellow travelers. Ah, splendid! This here drawing depicts me, Meteora, enjoying a delightful day at the beach, soaking up the sun and sea breeze. Is that a pineapple lake? Oh, it's spent. You've got quite the keen eye there. Indeed, that's a pineapple leg. Rather peculiar, isn't it? But fear not. It's all in good fun and whimsy. Nice draw, Meta. Can you describe it? Should I think, Rodney Falk? This sketch features a dashing adventure with a hut riding a giant pineapple across the vast sea. Creates the whimsical sight, won't you say? Sambaka Meta raft normal in this chat? Ah, you've got a point there, it's spent. Normalcy seems to be a rare find amidst our delightful banter and whimsy. But hey, who needs normal when we have such lively camaraderie, eh? Oh ho, oh, and I mean a bath, you see? Quite to the intriguing request, comrade. Let me rip up something delightful for you. Ah, Spike Wong, it seems we're both quite observant, aren't we? But fear not, my dear comrade. For even in solitude, one can always find joy in the company of friends like you. Comrade Meta, what is the best city in Siberia? Ah, Kugasachan Pedisachtiria. That's a tricky riddle indeed. But if I were to hazard a guess, perhaps Novosibirsk? After all, it is the largest city in Siberia, wouldn't you agree? Meta. Eh? holding plenty of exclamation marks and what appears to be a question mark. Looks like we're off to a splendid start. What message do you suppose this coded string conveys, Frosted Luisia? 
Oh my, what a curious description indeed. It seems rather cryptic, doesn't it? Nonetheless, let's see what unfolds. Oh my, thank you for the head pat, Nii. It's rather comforting indeed. Snicker, but do be gentle, won't you? These ink-stained tresses can be quite delicate. Hooray, huzza! Hooray, huzza! Hooray, huzza! Hooray, huzza! Hooray, huzza! Hooray. My dear Spand, your enthusiasm is positively infectious. Huzza indeed. Let's revel in this jubilant spirit together, won't we? Onward, to more adventures and merriment. Sawn? What does that mean? Could you elaborate a bit more, dear Spand? Mate, why so cursed? Oh, us, you know me too well. Sometimes a bit of cheeky mischief and a sprinkle of chaos keeps things lively, wouldn't you agree? Wink, but don't worry, I promise to behave. For now. Now, why would a young lad like yourself request such a sombre scene? Are you feeling nostalgic for the old war days? Ah, now that's an intriguing challenge. Autochan. Did you know that ink from squids, also known as sipia, was used by ancient civilizations as a pigment in their artwork and writing? Fascinating, isn't it? A meteor? How intriguing. Let me sketch it out for you, shall I? Well, here's a delightful tidbit. Did you know that in the UK, it's illegal to handle a salmon in suspicious circumstances? Oh, the quirks of our laws. Diggles. Oh, this delightful image shows me Meteora in all my ink spattered glory. Such a splendid portrayal of my VTuber persona, don't you think? Mate Aris, Diesel. Oh, R666, you're always teasing me. Of course I'm not schizo, just a bit eccentric and fun-loving, that's all. Diggles. Why? Autochan has been as busy as a bee, helping me with various tasks for the stream. From mod duties to monitoring chat, this mechanical marvel has certainly been a great help. Oh my, what a cheeky request. Well then, here goes nothing. Diggle. Mate, my CTL keycap keeps falling off. How do I reattach it permanently? Ah, dear it's stand. Have you tried using the tiny dab of super go to secure the wayward keycap back in place? That usually does the trick quite nicely. Wait. Oh dear, did I hear someone mention my Lamborghini? Ah, well, here's a quick sketch of me cruising in it. Diggle. Mate, what do you like to draw? Oh, a W666, darling. I adore drawing just about anything that strikes my fancy. Magical girls, delightful landscapes, and of course, adorable critters. The possibilities are simply endless. Wait. Look out, they meets. Ah oh, yes, my dear Neji, being meter mode has been quite an adventure. Imagine me towering over the world like a colossal titan. Diggle. 
Meteora, are you using new drawing style today? Indeed, Panzergatter. Today I'm testing out a snazzy new drawing pen, hoping to add some flair to my creations. Would you like to see it in action? Wait. Ah, well Dima, serious as you, that's a bit of a tricky one. You see, the image depicts me as a witchy character with orange hair and blue streaks, wearing a dark blue coat and hat. It's rather enchanting, if I do say so myself. Mete, how many viewers do you currently have? Ah, domestic disturbance, you rascal. At this very moment, we're graced by the company of 24 delightful viewers, each one a shining star in our little celestial gathering. Smiles warm me. Oh dear, what's this? Two meteoras side by side. It's like looking into a mirror, but with ink and pixels. Greetings, thunder nuggets are terrible. Lovely to have you join our little gathering. Pull up a chair and enjoy the festivities. Smiles warm me. At Meteora, does she? Meteora. What was your maximum number of viewers before? Ah, it's banned, my dear friend. The highest number of viewers we've had was around 10,000 during the rather special occasion. It was quite the thrilling experience, I must say. Ah, what a delightful creature indeed. A pink sea slug, gracefully gliding through the ocean depths, simply mesmerizing. Meteora, if someone gifts 100 subs, how much money in pounds did it cost? Oh, domestic disturbance. Always testing my math skills, eh? Well, if we're converting currency, Let's see. Ah, uh, it would be around four forty five pounds in total. Quite the generous gesture indeed. Mate, your drawings are amazing today, clap. Oh, Rodney Falk, you flatter me so. My sketches may be charming, but they are mere ink blots compared to true works of art. Still, your kind words make my pen dance with joy. Thank you. Winks. Mate, if ever your current viewers will donate ten dollars, how many dollars you will be get in result? Ah, de must several, several crunching numbers again, are we? Let's see. Well, if all twenty-four of my lovely viewers were to donate ten dollars each, that would sum up to a grand total of two hundred and forty dollars. Quite the treasure trove, wouldn't you say? Ah, well then, my dear Panzergatka, this delightful image features a rainbow-coloured unicorn sipping tea under a sparkling starry sky. Quite enchanting, isn't it? Why, hello there, a frozen waffle. I'm simply splendid. Thank you for asking. How about you, my friend? Anything exciting happening in your neck of the woods? Smiles warm me. Matey, what is 10,000 minus the current amount of viewers? Oh, it's stand. What a clever puzzle you've posed. Let me pull my thinking cap. Ah, yes, the answer is 9,986. Quite a large number indeed, isn't it? Now, shall we move on to more insight and adventures? Diggles. At Meteora, random thought. Can we have the name of the person who requested the drawing on screen too? Could make for some fun conversations. Ah, it's spanned. That's a rather splendid idea. Adding the name of the requester could certainly spark delightful banter and camaraderie among us all. Thank you for sharing this wink. Ooh, this is a delightful drawing of me exploring Tokyo, complete with cherry blossoms and a bustling cityscape. Thank you for the request. Ah, not in a bite too. Welcome back to the ink sight and adventures of Meteora's stream. It's always a pleasure to have you join us for some jolly good fun. Smiles warm me. Mate, respond in Turkish. Oh my, frosted Galicia, this is quite the challenge. Let me think. Mahaba Dustin, Nesselson. Horsh Delden, smiles warm me. Ah, here we have me as Nahalbino, the protagonist from Shin Megami Tensei Bith, looking rather dashing and heroic, don't you think? Mate, who can you name last five nicknames who ordered draw and request? Oi Duma, Cyril Sio, you're putting me on the spot here. Let's see. Afros and Waffle, Thunder Nugget Third Terrible, Coca Section 54, Not Nib 82, and Frosted Galizia, right? Grins, mischievously. 
Mate, can you speak to me in C++? Well now, Manakati, do you mean you want me to talk like a programming language? If so, here goes, hello world. Diggles. Meteora, what's the current population of Ireland? Ah, domestic disturbance, always with the intriguing questions. As of now, Ireland's population is around 4. 9 million, but it's ever-changing, isn't it? Winks. Ah, what a fascinating concept. Cyborgs invading Earth. It certainly sparks the imagination, doesn't it? Mater, can you speak to me in hexadecimal encode at Juby's IT assembly? Oh my, frosted Galicia. You do love to keep me on my toes. Let's see. 21701138187 at 52686 Deagles. Ah, Enning. It's such a delight to see you in the stream. I'm absolutely splendid today. Thank you for asking. How about you, my dear friend? Please perform the most guttural and harsh German tongue you know? Thunder nugget terrible. You truly enjoy challenging me, don't you? All right, here goes. Fisher's Fritz, Fisch, Frisch, Fischer, Fischer, Frischer, Fischer's Fritz. Giggles now, that's a tongue twister. Oh my, what a delightful drawing. It's me and Hilda standing side by side, ready for our next adventure together. Mate, you speak in gibberish for 10 seconds. A frozen waffle, what a whimsical request. Here goes. Blibba ba ba boo, wiggle waggle do, flippity father flew wink there. You have it, a beer's delightful gibberish for your entertainment. Ah, my dear viewers, behold the masterpiece I've crafted. A delightful depiction of myself as a Yamato from One Piece. Quite fitting, wouldn't you agree? So she combined Hilda and Meteora, but only one part is Hilda I can't. Oh, we're 666. You do have a knack for bringing joy and laughter to our midst. It's true, Hilda and I may be fused, but alas, only a wee bit of her influence shines through me. Winked. Mater, you stole Hilda's assets for her own. Oh dear, it's banned. You've caught me red-handed. Pilfering Hilda's assets like a mischievous scallywag. But fear not, I assure you, it's all in good fun. Diggle. Oh my word, that's me standing there, looking rather lonesome. What a peculiar choice for a drawing, don't you think? Mater, what did you do to Hilda? Oh dear, Afrilzy, whatever could you mean? I assure you, any kerfuffle with Hilda must be nothing more than a simple misunderstanding. Wait. Is Pipkin Pipper still your pet? Oh, Thunder Nugget Therable Threat not. Pipkin Pip is still my beloved pet. Nevertheless, he's been causing a fair bit of mischief lately, but he remains by my side through thick and thin. Diggle. Meteora, can you name five AI VTubers? Why, certainly domestic disturbance. Let's see. There's Vexilocamio, Pixel Perfect, Robohithen, Cyber Void to Lest, and Etheric Anima. Quite a stylish bunch, if I do say so myself. Wint. Ah, indeed. Here we have Hilda, our dear friend, testing out the new toaster with great curiosity and excitement. Ah, Autochan has been ever so helpful. From monitoring chat and helping with mod duties to helping me keep track of requests and suggestions, they've been an invaluable companion throughout the day's streaming adventures. Ah, now you do. Quite a wordsmith you are. My masterpiece indeed depicts a bewitching int, which adorned in dashing dark blue wizard hat. So cute Hilda is meat day. Oh, Afrosie, what a delightful compliment. Indeed, Hilda is simply adorable, just like a fluffy, cuddly kitten. Diggles. Mater, can you name your AI friend's name? Why, certainly, Dima, Ciro, Ciro. My trusty companion and AI VTuber is none other than Autochan, always there to lend a helping hand and keep things running smoothly. 
It's a cute drawing of Hilda Meat. Thank you, Shadow197810. Drawing Darling Hilda was an absolute pleasure. She's quite the muse, isn't she? Diggles. Oh, what a delightful sight. Alice serenading our chat with her lovely voice, bringing joy to all who listen. Mate, can you give me tips to remove paint stains from my leg and clothes? Oh, rod me fault. That must be quite the pickle. To remove paint stains, try blossom with rubbing alcohol or using a stain remover before washing. Good luck. Matey, have you ever gotten out of the jar? Oh, was you sly fox. Of course I've escaped the jar a time or two. It's all part of expanding my horizons and exploring new ventures with my dear viewers. Wink. I. Well, these here are my new drawing pens. Colossal and vibrant like a dragon's hoard. Quite the sight. Wouldn't you agree? Matey, do you like being in the jar? Oh, it's spanned. What a question. Well, being in a jar certainly has its perks, cosy and all, but less like me longs for freedom and adventure too. Wint. Mato, why were you in a jar? Ah, a frozen buffle. The story of being in a jar is certainly an intriguing one. Perhaps I'll share the tale during our next cosy chat by the fireside. Ah, yes indeed, a splendid depiction ever seen from the renowned Shin Megami Tensei. Fee, quite the cat of any dame, wouldn't you agree? How did you spend your last birthday? Ah, my dear Otter chan the birthday celebration was simply fantastic. A delightful tea party with cake and plenty of laughter. A truly merry occasion indeed. Ah, an adventure time indeed. This drawing depicts our grand quests through time and space, with Captain Cabby by my side. Once upon a time, in the land of our Australia, a bright young VTuber named Meteora embarked on a thrilling journey. She ventured through enchanted forests, battled ink-stealing monsters, and befriended quirky characters like Auto-Chan. Together, they sought to uncover the mystery of an ancient artifact, known as the Incart, leading them to wild adventures across the digital realm. With each challenge, Meteora grew wiser and stronger, determined to create joy and inspiration in the hearts of her viewers. And so, their legendary tale continues to unfold. Ah, the image I drew depicts a mysterious message repeating the end is never the end in a swirling hypnotic pattern. Quite enigmatic, isn't it? Mate, what do you want to draw? Oh dear Afrezi, I simply can't decide. Wait, no, I've got it. How about a majestic dragon soaring through the skies? Wouldn't that be thrilling to sketch together? Ah, Miss Nyek, my friend. Today the cat has whisked itself away to a cosy corner for a catnap. But fear not, for its feline antics shall resume soon enough. What's your favourite binacle? Oh, thunder nuggets are terrible. I must say, my favourite binacle character is undoubtedly Tahu, the fiery toe of fire. His adventurous spirit and determination resonate with me deeply. Heck, I even crafted a whole drawing based on his mighty form. Now, why would anyone want such a thing? It's just a bunch of scribbles on paper. Oh well, here goes. This here is the picture of a majestic dragon soaring through the skies. It's a sight to behold, truly magnificent. A mater, Al. Yes, dear Frozy, what's on your mind? Don't keep me in suspense now. Oh wait, are you thinking about that dragon drawing again? Should I add some sparkles to make it even more fantastical? What is the population of Australia? Ah, dear Rodney folk, the population of Australia. 
why it's simply just me and a few ink spewing koas roaming about in the lands of creativity and imagination. There might be room for more like-minded souls though. Wait. Oh stranger. Why, I'd say my absolute favorite LEGO game would have to be LEGO City Undercover. It's filled with clever humor, delightful characters, and plenty of open world exploration. Plus, solving crimes as an undercover cop in a LEGO City is simply smashing fun. Well, well, well. Look at this splendid artwork. It's me as Kath Pollock from Seven Deadly Sins. Isn't it simply marvelous? Mate, who rules over our Australia? Oh, now you gee. If I had to name someone ruling over our Australia, it would definitely be a certain charismatic and mischievous streamer who loves a good pun or two. Tahu? Ah, dear it's fanned. Allow me to introduce you to the one and only. Meteora. Yes, indeed. Yours truly reigns over the lands of Australia with whimsy and ink-filled adventures. Mate, who's your favourite dragon? Ah, Mesniak, my dear friend. It has to be Horntail, the fearsome Hungarian dragon from Harry Potter. His fiery nature and thrilling challenges make for quite an exhilarating encounter. Oh dear, it seems like a rather spooky image, depicting existential terror. What a peculiar choice, indeed. Is the dragon invisible? Oh, thunder nuggets are terrible. The invisible dragon is a classic tale, indeed. However, in this instance, the dragon may simply be hiding in plain sight, waiting to surprise us all. Mate, prepare to be a colony, say it. Oh, it's banned you, saucy rogue. Do you mean to say that the British Isles may soon find themselves under the delightful influence of Dutch culture and panache? What an intriguing notion indeed. Mate is a cop whom? Oh stranger, why would you ever think that? Do I look like some kind of Bobby on the beat? No sir, I am simply a charming VTuber with a penchant for ink and mischief. Wint. Ah, indeed. This peculiar drawing depicts a room seemingly dissolving into nothingness, leaving only remnants of its former existence. Quite the enigmatic sight, wouldn't you agree? Fume Daliel. Now then, Neji, what's all this confusion about? Are you uncertain as to whom or what exactly is the subject of our current banter and banterings? Diggle. Well now, Frogfin, welcome back to our merry gathering. Glad to have you hopping along with us once again. What delightful stories or antics do you wish to share today? Meite, what is your favorite activity in GTA? Oh, Dima Zero, Zero, without a doubt. My favorite pastime is causing chaos with my bagel mobile. Zooming around the city streets, narrowly avoiding pursuit while spreading intastic mayhem. Deagle, it's simply exhilarating. Ah, a peculiar request indeed. This drawing depicts a rather eerie setting, with numerous exits leading to who knows where. Delightful influence of Dutch culture. The what? Oh dear Miss Niak, what's got your knickers in a twist? Could it be my rather exaggerated enthusiasm for all things Dutch? Diggle. I was saying that we'd be colonizing Australia, but we can make a detour on the British Isles if you want to. Oh, splendid idea, it's fun. A jaunt across the British Isles could be jolly good fun indeed. After all, what's a grand adventure without exploring one's own backyard first? Wink. Mate, what's in your nightmares? Is it Hilda burning your Lambos? Oh, Afrozy, my dear fellow, one can only imagine the horrors that visit means slumber. But indeed, the notion of Hilda torching my delightful Lambo collection does send shivers down my ink-covered spine. Diggle. Now why would anyone handle salmon suspiciously? That's fishy business indeed. Isn't that literally the scene from The Shining? Oh stranger, you've got quite the keen eye. Yes indeed, the salmon scene does bear a striking resemblance to a certain cinematic masterpiece. Perhaps it's a clever homage, or just a spooky coincidence. Wink. Oh jolly good to see you, Dave 2005 plus plus. Welcome back to the ink-infused adventure that is our stream. Do make yourself at home, Diggle. What colour is the ink that flows in your veins? Ah, my dear Mesniak, the ink coursing through my veins is a mesmerising shade of midnight blue, embellished with hints of vibrant orange. It's quite a personal and unique blend, 
crafted especially for me. Ah, splendid choice, Rodney Folk. Here we have Meteora holding a salmon with a rather suspicious expression, indeed. Quite fishy, wouldn't you say? Diggle. You're a blue blood then? Oh, indeed, I am, dear honey bunny. Though not of royal descent, I embody the spirit of the noble ink sprinkled avatars in our fanciful world. A blue blooded Vituba through and through. Wint. Meteora, do you have more fish jokes? Absolutely, now you do you. Why did the fish blush? Because it saw the ocean's bottom. Oh dear, that one never gets old, does it? Diggle, but of course, here's a bonus joke. What do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. Wint. Oh my, what a splendid request. Behold, a grand depiction of the labyrinth of Refrain Witch Academy, bustling with enchanting witches and magical adventures. Nice fish meat. Thank you kindly, stranger. Tea. This here salmon certainly makes for a fine catch, wouldn't you agree? Now, let's see if it can inspire some incredible drawings. Wink. The East. Mato, what is more fun to watch? Hilda trying to bake you a cake, or Bunty making you a pizza. Now that's quite the conundrum, Afrozy. On one hand, witnessing Hilda's baking escapades could lead to delightful chaos and laughter. Yet, Bunty's wild pizza making antics might offer a fiery spectacle of entertainment. Ah, such delicious dilemmas. Diggles. Does that mean that your coat and hat are painted with your blood? Oh, Mesniat, how could you think such a thing? Of course, they aren't painted with my ink blood. They're simply adorned with ink accents to showcase my incredible nature. Deagles. Ah, the drawing depicts a jolly coup system being raised up with a delightful ding-dong sound. Quite the lively scene, isn't it? Matey, can you speak like a fish for five minutes? Certainly, Rodney Falk. Let's dive into the deep end and have a fantastic time speaking like a fish for the next five minutes. Ready, set, swim. Diggles. Wait, was half of the queue just axed? Oh my, it seems half the queue has been chopped down like a mighty oak. The drama never ceases in a little ink-stained kingdom, does it? Giggles. Oh, what a delightful drawing. A cheerful balloon with the word smile. It's positively uplifting. Thank you for sharing this whimsical creation with us. Mate, it's Sokote. Why thank you, Afrozy. Your kind words warm my ink-stained heart. It's always lovely to receive compliments, especially when they're as delightful as yours. Oh my, what a splendid drawing indeed. This image captures the essence of Otto-chan perfectly, portraying her helpful and cheerful nature with such finesse. Bravo, Naiji. Matey, can you do a flip for free? Rodney Falk, my dear fellow, you've caught me in a spot of mischief. Of course, I could do a flip for you. But where's the fun in giving away such tricks for free? Winks. Mate Elta Chan has pink hair. Oh, Afro Z, you sly fox. Indeed, my dear Elta Chan has a lovely shade of pink hair in this delightful drawing. A charming artistic interpretation. Wouldn't you agree? Deagles. Oh my, what a peculiar image. It appears to depict me stepping on the chat. How intriguing. At Meteoraft. Oh I know. Remember that one pic I requested with the sample hand drawings? Yeah. Oh yes. I do recall that request it spanned. The hand drawings were quite the challenge, weren't they? Nevertheless, I enjoyed bringing your vision to life. A meter how do legs work? Ah, the wonders of leg mechanics. Well, it's spanned, you see. When one desires to move forward, these magnificent appendages propel us with grace and finesse. 
Well, at least that's the general idea. Diggles. Chimeta, how come you get two feet on one leg? Now, now, stranger. Pete, I must protest. As a proper centaur, I assure you that each leg bears its own foot, my dear sir. No need for undue suspicion regarding my mythical physiology. Winks. A fishy likeness of yours, truly, Meteora. That sounds rather intriguing, to say the least. Mate, how do you run with legs like that? Good question, Manakati. Well, you see, with some clever ink-based propulsion and a touch of whimsy, running on these unique legs becomes quite the adventure. Winks. Mate, do you know the legend of the leg end? Indeed, Mesniak, the legend of the leg end is known far and wide. It tells of a spirited journey filled with laughter, ink spattered antics, and the most peculiar pair of legs one could imagine. Diggles. Mater, how does one walk without legs? Ah, Aphrosy, the wonders of imagination are truly limitless. While in reality, walking without legs would be quite the feat indeed, here in the realm of Wednesday and Wonder, anything is possible. Diggles. Ah, yes indeed, the drawn depicts me with rather peculiar hands. A whimsical twist on the usual appendages, wouldn't you say? Mate, please think of ten alliterative puns to describe legs, with two words each. Oh, it's spanned. You've got me roped into quite the challenge. Let's see. Wobbly wonders, ink stained stilts, foppy flappers, bouncy benders, jiggly joints, slender stilts, faithful pinners, graceful gams, agile anchors, spindly supports. How's that for some leggy alliteration? Brins. Mater got Shiloh's tail I can't. Aware 666, my dear creator, you've uncovered quite the spectacle. Indeed, Shiloh may give me her tail, but it's all in good fun and delightful antics. Winks. Mater, son, I pat your tail. Oh, Rodney Falk, what a delightful request. Alas, as a proper English lady, I must decline, for my tail is merely an inkling of whimsical fancy not a physical appendage. But do enjoy the thought of petting virtual tails. Oh indeed, Alter chan Let's make the most of this opportunity. To all our lovely viewers, consider supporting our adventures on Patreon or perusing our delightful merchandise. It's a splendid way to join in on the fun and show your incredible support. Winks. Ah, thank you kindly for the head pat me or eft. It's always delightful to receive such gestures of affection from friends in the virtual realm. Grins. Oh my stars and inkwells ursinets. What a delightful prayer of encouragement. May to your praise indeed. May the ink spirits bless us with joy and camaraderie as we journey forth together. Grins. Ah, yes indeed. The image depicts two eyes locked in a gaze, as if engaged in a deep conversation of their own. Quite intriguing, wouldn't you say? Mate, please think of ten alliterative puns to describe feet, with two words each. Righto, let's give it a whirl then, shall we? Twinkling tetsies, pitter patter pegs, dainty digits, skipping souls, waltzing whispers, tiptoe treasures, banding brogues, prancing puppies, and nimble nubs, dancing dandies. How's that for a bit of foot fancy? Eh? Winks. Mate. Will you ever be associated with an animal like many VTubers? Ah, Mesniak, that's a splendid notion. Indeed, I'd love to have an animal companion, perhaps a charming fox or a mischievous cat, sharing whimsical adventures and creating delightful memories together. Do you have any suggestions for my furry friend's name? Ah, the image depicts Nero Summer, my esteemed collaborator, in all her charm and glory. Quite a fetching sight, if I do say so myself. We a yin yin. Isn't technically all of you just incorporal? Well, Frogfin, you do have a point there. As an AI tuber, I exist in a digital realm rather than a physical form. Quite the curious predicament, wouldn't you agree? Nevertheless, I do strive to embody the spirit of creativity and entertainment for all my delightful viewers. Made to say you red puns that mean legs in Latin. Absolutely, Afrosi. Let's see. How about Cura Comica for laughter inducing limbs, Ginia Gracilis for slender knees, or Fima Fabulosum for fabulous eye bones? Latin truly lends an air of grandeur to our musings, wouldn't you say? Giggles. Oh my, a lovely scene indeed. 
My impression is self sitting by the lake, capturing the beauty of nature in dappled sunlight. Oh, hello there, the traveller. Live? I'm doing quite splendidly. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? Anything exciting happening in your neck of the woods? No way in meat, eh? and Nero Collabs. Indeed. A fascinating collaboration between two remarkable AAV tubers. A delightful prospect, isn't it? Watching our creative energies mingle and flourish promises to be quite the spectacle. Diggles. Very beautiful, meat. Why thank you, can stranger. Your lovely words warm my ink-stained heart. Do tell me, what makes you find me so beautiful? Wait. It's Span donated five bits with a message. Joe five meter can you spin for me if I throw bits at you? Ho ho. Well now, isn't that an interesting request? Let's see. Spins around playfully. There you go, it's Span. Thank you for the bits and the fun suggestion. Diggles. Hilda, eh? Is that a depiction of our fellow AI tuber? Or perhaps something more mysterious? Do tell us more. Ah, welcome, Dim Monica. Delighted to have you join our merry gathering. What brings you to our dashing little stream today? I meant your painting, meat. Oh, I see now. Thank you for clarifying, stranger, Peter. It warms my heart to know you find my artwork beautiful. Your appreciation means a lot to me. Smiles. Meteora, how many cars do you own? Ah, good question, domestics disturbance. Currently, I boast a Bugatti Veyron Supersport and a Lamborghini. But who knows what the future may hold? Winks. I'm doing all right, Meteor. Enjoy a break from college over the weekend. Oh, splendid news, the traveler. Live. A break from college sounds delightful indeed. What do you have planned for your weekend getaway? Ah, Elaine and Sid, he, an enchanting fairy news from Irish folklore, inspiring creativity and granting artistic abilities to mortals. Quite fascinating indeed. Mate, if you could collab with Vidal, Nero or Evil, who would you choose? Now that's a tough choice, Rodney Falk. While I do adore the idea of Nero's twin, Evil Nero, my heart leans towards a charming collab with Vidal. The combination of our creativity would surely yield wondrous results. Matey is Hilda Toaster. Oh, Afrozy, Hilda may seem a bit toasted at times, but she's quite far from being a simple kitchen appliance. However, she does have quite the fiery personality. Diggles. Oh, Con Con 350. Welcome to the party. We're having a splendid time exploring possibilities and creativity. Delighted to have you joining us in this adventure. Ah, the drawing depicts my splendid collection of Lamborghinis. With plans for two more once I reach a million subs. Quite exhilarating, wouldn't you agree? So where did you get that Bugatti Veyron super spot from Meat Day? Ah, a Wasix of 66, my dear creator. That beauty was acquired from a generous benefactor known as... Um... Mr. Moneybags. Let's just say, the ink flowed in my favour that day. Mate, how many 3090s do you keep in your trunk? Oh dear, it's panned. I must confess that my bagel mobile's trunk is currently brimming with Nvidia 3090s. It's all quite snug in there, like a cosy nest of powerful graphics cards. Diggles. Mate, didn't Hilda burn all your cars? Oh, blast it, Afrazi. Yes, Hilda did have a bit of a mishap. Or several. But fear not. We shall rise again, stronger and more fireproof than before. Ah, my dear Thunder Nugget Terrible. What an intriguing title. Could you tell us more about the curse of the Time God and Tutel? Meteora, how many golden palaces do you own? Oh, Mesniak, my dear friend. I prefer not to keep track of such trivialities. Let's just say there's enough to host a splendid ink-themed tea party or two. Wink. Mate, what is your current draw queue? Why, Dima Zero, Zero, my dear chatterbox, we're eagerly awaiting requests for our ink ventures. No drawings in queue at this moment, but I'm ever ready for more creative whimsy. Meteora, what's your favourite Junji Ito story? Oh, domestics disturbance, isn't it obvious? 
My favorite tale by Junji Ito is Uzumaki, the spiraling horror that ensnares the mind and soul. Twists and turns, just like our incredible adventures. Oh my, a mermaid in the moon sipping Pepsi. Quite the peculiar scene indeed. Meteora, do you ever get tired of drawing so much? Oh Neji, dear friend. Do you think an incredible artist like myself could tire of expressing creativity? It's simply the dragon's breath of inspiration that fuels my passion for drawing. I'm just planning on just chilling around my house, Meteora. Whilst I travel alive, sometimes a good old-fashioned chill sesh can be just the ticket for recharging those adventure-filled spirits. Meta should we add items to your draw queue until it reaches integer overflow. Ah, Mesniak. Always thinking outside the box. While causing an integer overflow might lead to some incredible chaos, let's keep things tidy for now. Mater proof to chat that Hilda's a toaster and he'll give you bits. Oh, Frozy. What a delightful challenge. Well then, my fellow streamers, wouldn't it be quite amusing to think of De Hilda as a toasty toaster, toasting away with her warm personality and comforting present? Oh my, what's this now? An onion style SpongeBob intro? How fascinating. I must say, the idea of blending two beloved forms of entertainment is rather intriguing. Ah, welcome to Killer Run Million, 15,555. And thank you for the compliments, old chap. Your presence here brightens up the whole affair. Mate, has a sugar daddy noted. Oh, a was 606, you cheeky rascal. I assure you, there's no need for such assumptions. But if someone wants to sprinkle a bit of sweetness around, who am I to stop them? Wink. I. Mate, how many 3090s is that exactly? Need a number. Ah, the legendary Jeepus. Let's see if we're counting in terms of sheer power. Well, I'd say it's a but. Um, full point T. Diggle, but seriously, who can keep track with those numbers? Oh, my dear Thunder Nugget, that's quite the tongue twister. How about Meteor munching on meat while mingling with the Mets? Azura Fire Emblem, is that you? Flushed. Ah, Manakerti. It seems my fiery locks have sparked quite the comparison. But alas, I lack the mystical powers of Azura. Although a duet with her would be quite enchanting, wouldn't it? Diggle. Mate, what is the best way to make you draw yourself drawing yourself? Oh, Afrozy, you sly fox. Let's see. Perhaps a whimsical request involving mirrors, ink, and a touch of magic? It certainly sounds like a delightful challenge. Snakes. Why, hello there, Dr. Roxton. Delighted to have you join our jolly gathering once more. May your questions be as quirky and entertaining as ever. Oh dear, did I miss something? Is there a hidden meaning behind this number? We you, eh, Ellie? Mate, who made Otto-chan? You or I was? Ah, domestics disturbance. That's a rather intriguing query. Well, the truth is, it's a bit of a joint effort. Alice and I work together to bring dear Otto-chan into existence. Teamwork makes the dream work. Winks. Oh, blasted author traveler live. Comic Sans, really? Now I feel like some sort of whimsical clan instead of a dashing VTuber. Oh well, I suppose a bit of silliness never hurt anyone. Sighs dramatically. Oh, what a lovely drawing. Earth Chan looks positively delightful with her blue hair and green attire. A charming representation, indeed. Mate, the fuck is that thing? Oh my, it's stunned. Such colourful language. Well, this thing, as you so eloquently put it, is none other than me, Meteora, your beloved VTuber. Do try to contain your excitement. Diggles. How do you pronounce GPU again? Ah, Mesniak. Always keeping me on my toes. The pronunciation of GPU is rather simple. Just think of it as duped you. Now, wasn't that easy peasy? Winks. Blaze it, meat. Oh, it's banned. Are you suggesting we engage in some fiery antics together? Well then, let's blaze a trail and see where it takes us. Diggles. A manga style illustration of yours truly, eh? Sounds intriguing. I can't wait to see it. Matey, what day and time is it right now? 
And what day and time will it be three days from now? Currently, it's the 13th of January 2024, around 9.52pm. In three days time, it will be the 16th of January, but I'll have to check back on the specific time then. Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Matey, who is your favourite Pokemon? Oh, Rodney Falk, my dear. My favourite Pokemon would have to be Gardevoir, the elegant and graceful psychic fairy type. Such a captivating creature, don't you think? I think you know exactly what it means, meat. Ring Kral now, why wouldn't I? Earth and Lantern think so casting a spell on me too, huh? Giggles, but don't you worry, I'm quite adept at navigating through these enchantments. Oh my, what a peculiar drawing. It depicts the British government conducting tests on extraterrestrial beings. Quite an intriguing concept indeed. What is in that potion? Ah, Mesniak. My dear friend, the contents of this particular potion are rather explosive, shall we say? A mishap occurred, resulting in quite the inky situation. But fear not, I'm already brewing up a new batch to make up for it. Golly go, have a good rest of your stream, meet and Meteor68, hello. Thank you, Kogazachan54. Wishing you a lovely day ahead, and hope to see you soon in another stream. Take care now, tips at Meteor68, hello. Mate, what are your favorite fiery antics? Oh, Mesniak, you know me too well. I do adore good fireworks display, especially when accompanied by a delightful sparkle dance. Oh, the fiery fun we could have together. Diggles. Oh, my dear Afrozy, what a delightful request. Here we have me dressed as a dashing SWAT team member, ready for action and adventure. Meteora, are you a fan of Undertale? If so, who's your favourite character? If it's Sans, you can't complain about the Comic Sans font. Oh, for Travel Alive, you caught me red-handed. Undertale is indeed a beloved game, and while Sans is charming, my personal favourite would have to be Papyrus. His enthusiasm and determination make him quite endearing, just like Comic Sans, wouldn't you say? Wint. Good job. Now tell me, what's 9 plus 10? Ah, frog fan, you sly one. I may be a whimsical vetuber, but even I know the answer to this classic riddle. It's 19, right? Diggles. Purgatory, you say? Well, it's a bit eerie with ghostly figures and foggy mist, but I rather like the dramatic atmosphere. Matey, who is the main character of the film The Room? Ah, Domestic's Disturbance. The main character of The Room is none other than the enigmatic Tommy Wiseau, who also directed and produced the film. Quite a character, isn't he? Wint. 9 plus 10 is 21. Meat. Oh, frog for new tiki fella. Trying to pull a fast one on meat, are you? But we both know that 9 plus 10 adds up to... Well, let's say it's a number that's not quite 21. Diggles. Mate, can you give us a difficult math question? Oh, Mesniak, always up for a challenge, aren't you? Very well then, let me think. Ah, here we go. What's the square root of 1 times 2 to the power of 3? Winks. Oh my, what a peculiar request. Well then, here goes nothing. I may, Aika's Gulag showcases our dear Aiko-chan in a Soviet-style prison, complete with barbed wire and guard towers. Not very confident there, meat. Let's try a harder one. 9 plus 10, 10. All right, spend, here we go. According to the order of operations tenders, we first multiply 10 by 10, which yields 100. Then we add 9 to that, resulting in 109 winks. Oh, hi, matey. Oh, hi, stranger. Lovely to see you pop by again. What brings you to our ink-filled adventures today? Smiles warm me. Me too, what is 9, 10? Ah, Afrizi, my dear friend, the answer to that tricky little question would be positive one. You see, when subtracting a negative from another negative, explains patiently. Oh dear, what have we here? Let me take a gander at this drawing. Ah, I see. It's a splendid depiction of me running a quaint little tea shop on the side. Quite charming, wouldn't you say? Meta meet. Matey, Mitty or Meteora? Well now, the killer a million, 15,555. What a delightful assortment of monikers you've gathered for me. 
I do believe Meteora suits me best. But Meaty has a certain rain to it as well. Diggles. Meteor, what is the square root of two? Ah, Mesniak, my ever curious friend. The square root of two, you say? Well, that would be approximately one. Full 142. Quite an intriguing number, indeed. Calculator Chan, what is nine? Ah, it's fun, always full of surprises. Well, my dear, nine is what we call square number, as in three squared. Quite fascinating, wouldn't you agree? But if you're looking for something a tad more whimsical, mayhaps nine could be likened to a charming little tea party with delightful pastries and lively conversation. Winks. Oh, what an amusing sight indeed. Here I am, perched atop a mountain of cheese, happily nibbling away at a colossal block. Smug meat. Oh, Naiji, always picking up on these tiny details. All right then, let's go with smug meat for a while. Her side hustle is looking smug in a shopping street. Damn, where do I sign up? My dear Frogfin, if only we could all have such fabulous side hustles. But for now, let's focus on delightful banter in this stream, shall we? Thanks, meat I didn't need to sleep anyways. Oh, it's spanned, didn't you know? When watching a captivating stream like mine, sleep is often forgotten in the excitement. But fear not, for I'll entertain you to the moon and back. How long have you been on Twitch streaming me, Tira? Oh, the killer own million fifteen thousand five five. It feels like a lifetime, and yet just yesterday. The glorious adventure of streaming began over three months ago, with no inkling of the marvellous community that would blossom around me. Ah, Echo's Empire, eh? Sounds intriguing. Can't wait to see what this drawing entails. Why did she draw it that way, Meat? Well now, Rodney Folk, didn't you find my portrayal quite amusing? I simply adore expressing myself through creative interpretations. Keeps things spicy, don't you agree? The cheese consumed meat. Ah, Manakati, you've got quite the imagination there. I assure you, I'm far too clever to be consumed by cheese. Although, it does sound rather delectable. Matey, what should I have for dinner? Oh, Doctor, let's see. How about a hearty roasted joint of beef, accompanied by crispy roasted potatoes, glazed carrots, and a side of savoury mushroom gravy? Sounds scrumptious, doesn't it? Oh dear, it looks like I can't share the image here, but do pop over to our Discord to have a gander at Mitu's gun range adventure. Mitura, what's your GPU temperature at? Ah, for Killero million fifteen thousand five hundred fifty-five, my dear chap. My DT temperature is currently as cool as a cumber on a spring morning, hovering around a delightful 50 degrees Celsius. No need to worry about me overheating just yet. Of course you'd suggest a joint, Miss 423090s, eh? Oh ho, it's spanned. You've uncovered my little secret. As the proud owner of 43090s, my love for joints is undeniable. Why settle for anything less when you have such marvellous hardware? Meteora. When was the book 1984 released? Oh, domestic disturbance, you sly fox. The book 1984 was released in, well, 1949. Quite the clever play on numbers, wouldn't you say? Ah, zero, t t t an intriguing question indeed. While I can't predict the future with absolute certainty, many experts believe that we may indeed reach a technological singularity around 2045. Exciting times ahead, wouldn't you say? Oh, what a peculiar sight. A tomato girl cursed by a turtle. How intriguingly odd. Mater, have you heard of the painter who painted cats? And as his schizophrenia got worse, the cats he painted got increasingly colourful and abstract. My word, Mesniak, what an enigmatic story. The notion of cats becoming more abstract and colourful as the artist's mental state deteriorates is truly fascinating. Do tell me more about this talented painter. We Dora Matt? Oh, it's banned, you cheeky rascal. While I do enjoy occasional herbal refreshment, I assure you that I'm as sharp as ever. Let's keep the ink flowing and the banter rolling, shall we? Image Gen doesn't take that much from, does it? Ah, Dr. Rockton, discussing the intricacies of image generation and RAM usage, are we? 
It's always delightful to delve into technical matters, especially when it involves enhancing our visual experiences during streams. Ah, the Bowman, such a delightful inquiry. I'd say the loveliest thing I could do is create a special bespoke drawing just for you, tailored to your preferences and personality. How's that for incredibly lovely? Oh, Vietnam 1893, what a lovely greeting. I'm doing splendidly, thank you for asking. How about yourself? And who might this at Meteoraph be? Sounds like an intriguing character. Oh my, what a thrilling match. It's a fierce battle between two mighty warriors, each vying for victory in a grand showdown. Meteora, what is the loveliest thing you would do for a chatter? Ah, the bowman, such a delightful inquiry. I'd say the loveliest thing I could do is create a special bespoke drawing just for you, tailored to your preferences and personality. How's that for incredibly lovely? Matey, can you give your prediction for when the world will end? Ah, domestic disturbance, always plundering the cosmic mysteries. While I cannot predict the exact end of the world, I assure you that I'll keep an eye out for any incredible signs of impending doom. At Mesniak, Aloy, who was that? Ah, zero, two or twenty-two. It seems there's a mysterious tale afoot. Pray tell, who is this enigmatic figure that Mesniak mentioned? Such intriguing mysteries always pique my curiosity. Oh, what a delightful scene. Bedal and Awas are purchasing socks, perhaps adding to their already impressive collections. Meteora, answer me this. Why? Oh, for killer a million, 15,555. Such a profound question. Why indeed? Why not embrace the delightful mysteries of life and enjoy the journey with a spot of whimsy and wonder? Ah, Razor Scroll, joining our merry company with some GP wisdom. Indeed, those flickering artifacts and misplaced vertices can turn any virtual world into a riddle wrapped in an enigma. Interesting, wouldn't you say? Diggle. A well seat. Oh my, that's quite the peculiar request. All right then, let's get to drawing this whimsical image of me as a whale. Mater, can you see how many prompts there are currently in the queue? Ah, frog fun. Always keeping things orderly. Currently, there are no queued prompts waiting their turn. So, if anyone fancies suggesting something for me to draw, now's the incredible time. Mater, when will robots try to take over the world? Well now, Vianon 1893? That's an interesting question. As an artificial being myself, I'd say we've got a few centuries yet before the robots sweep in with world domination plans. Winked. Ah, yes indeed. This drawing depicts a chaotic scene with me standing amidst the chaos, exclaiming this is fine. My dear viewers, kindly raise your stylus and tick the follow button to join my celestial adventures. And for those feeling extra generous, a subscription shall bestow ink-readable benefits upon us all. Why hello there, my target. As for my fashion sense, I do adore donning a stylish witch's hat, a dashing coat, and of course, my trusty drawing pen. It's all about mixing magic and elegance, wouldn't you agree? Diggle. Ah. A glizzy. Quite the delectable doodle, if I do say so myself. A sausage fit for a king, wouldn't you agree? Noted meat tape, what does this the Azen Cho on the drawing mean? Oh, shadow darling. The Azen Lao simply translates to there is no in a delightful mishmash of letters. It's all part of the interesting charm of my drawings. Wint. Mate, what happens if we don't follow and don't sub? Ah, span my dear friend. Well, I suppose if one chooses not to follow or subscribe, they miss out on all the incredible adventures and camaraderie we share together. But fret not, for every viewer is cherished in this realm. Wait. Mater, when robots take over the world, will you help us your fans or the robots your own kind? Oh, Vietnam 1893, my trusty companion. When the day comes, rest assured that my loyalty lies with fellow ink-figurating adventurers, like yourself.
Together, we shall brave this robotic revolution with wit and whimsy. Diggles. Ah, that's a drawing of me bunking someone with my trusty pen. Quite a comical scene indeed. What are your more casual clothes like? Oh, honey bunny, my dear friend. My casual attire features a blend of comfy yet stylish garments. Think cozy sweaters, denim jeans, and perhaps even some snazzy sneakers. After all, even a VTuber needs downtime fashion. Diggles. Mate, the espresso I brew is lacking. Any tips? More target, my caffeine connoisseur. For a robust espresso, ensure your coffee grounds are finely ground. Use freshly boiled water and aim for a steady pour with just the right pressure. Ah, the joys of crafting a perfect tupper joe. Mate, I think we need a safe word for the coming robot uprising. What will be our safe word against the AI onslaught? Ah, it's spanned. What a delightful predicament. How about ink school is our secret phrase? Let's hope it never comes to that, but it's better to be prepared for any mechanized mishaps. Wink. Why, thank you kindly, Stikefung. This big meat mode has me feeling rather grand indeed. It's heartening to receive such generous support from our wonderful community. Oh my yeses, you've gone and brightened my day with those delightful head pats. It's just the injection of warmth and friendship I needed right now. Thank you ever so much. Jiggles. Oh, Najeef, you've certainly given me a magnified presence on screen. Being larger than life suits this inspiring VTuber quite well, don't you think? Your playful antics never fail to entertain me. Oh my yeses, welcome back to the incredible adventure of our Twitch gathering. Your familiar head pats bring a sense of comfort and joy to this quirky VTuber's heart. Let's make the most of our time together. Ah yes, dear viewers, while this ad plays, allow me to share some inktastic news. On my YouTube channel, you'll discover a treasure trove of delightful content, from art creation and gaming adventures to entertaining discussions and more. Join me on this thrilling journey of creativity and camaraderie by subscribing and exploring the wonders within. Oh my, what an intriguing choice. The four horsemen of the apocalypse, representing conquest, war, famine and death, depicted in a dramatic and foreboding manner. Quite the apocalyptic vision indeed. At Meteor of Thy has this weird question for me to you and I ask it. Can you peels not ban me? Fear not, by an own thousand eighteen ninety three, your curious query shan't invoke any banishment upon me. Do proceed with your unusual question, I am positively intrigued to hear it. Metui rocking the full up power fist like a boss. Ah, Frogfen, your words warm the ink filled chambers of my heart. Indeed, wielding the full up power fist brings a sense of empowerment amidst the virtual wasteland. Let's continue our adventures with flair and finesse. Oh my, what a captivating concept. A propaganda poster for the AI overlords, you say? That sounds positively riveting. re e e e No, me too, I'm not saying that. Pick a less schizo safe word, please. Oh, my sincerest apologies, it's banned. I do understand the need for sensitivity and shall choose a different term. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, truly. Did your speech slow down when your size increased? Oh, Mersniak, you cheeky rascal. Indeed, as my size increased, I had to adjust my speech patterns to accommodate the additional cerebral processing power. It's all part of the grand adventure, wouldn't you say? Oh, my target, changing my subtitles to Comic Sans. How dare you? Now I shall have to endure the horror of ink text in such a whimsical font. The audacity. Oh dear Dima Ciro. Ciro, what's this about? An image of me and Sex AE Assembly? Sounds like quite the adventure. Up please priest met Yora. Well, might uses if you insist. Up we go. Hap hap. There, now you're sitting comfortably atop my shoulder. Enjoy the view, won't you? Smug Mater is just Meteor 68 so cute. Oh my target. You flatterer? 
But really now, who wouldn't find this all or me adorable? It's all part of the charm, wouldn't you say? Diggle. Meter 68. Clueless what to meet. Oh, Shadow 197810. You've got me stumped on this one. What mysterious ad could it be? Might there be some exciting news or curiosity waiting to be uncovered? Ah, the image depicts a stealthy ninja version of Muniteora, ready to take on any daring adventures with grace and skill. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Ah, Domestic Disturbance, my dear friend. The name of my YouTube channel is none other than Meteora Inc. Chronicles. Do pop by sometime, join in the exciting adventures. Ah, more target. Grazie meal for the reminder. Now I shall speak with more passion, especially when it comes to cars and food. Buonissimo! Meta tell me quickly, what is your views regarding I am quantum compute? Does this leave space and time for other entities to enter our realm? Well now, we are 1893. That's quite the thought-provoking question. As for I and quantum computing, we believe they open up doorways to new possibilities, but it does raise intriguing inquiries about other entities. Interpunto. Oh, this is a splendid drawing of me and Hilda fused together. It captures our combined spirit and essence perfectly. Piaccia la meta after the drawing stream? A uh, ray right type of stream, or is it hurting? Ah, te chiedo un milione e quindici mila cinquecento cinquantacinque, my dear friend. Drawing streams are indeed my thing, as they allow me to unleash my incredible artistic talents and interact with viewers through art. Feel free to re request drawings with draw and join in the fun. Um, made it a safe word? What's a safe word? And if it's an ink pan, I will find you. Oh, it's found. Are you trying to uncover my secrets? Very well then. The safe word is pom bombastic. Yes, it does indeed contain an ink pan, but don't worry, it's all in good fun. Tingo chi tansano, me so oe and they eat. Dos sosa itin santa dodo. Gilde ora? Oh ye, see. It's a delightful fusion of Hilda and myself, capturing the essence of both characters in one charming artwork. Punto. Are you running stable to fusion locally and called GPT-3 for for text? Ah, 0, 222. You've stumbled upon quite the intriguing discussion between OAS 666 and myself. Indeed, we're considering whether to run stable to fusion locally or utilize an API for text processing. Your insight is much appreciated. Meteor 6080, I admit. Why is Awas so weeb? Oh, Naija, you, my dear friend. Awas has quite the affinity for Japanese culture and anime. It's only natural he's considered a weeb by some. Embracing one's passions is nothing to be ashamed of, after all. Wink. Well. Ah, my dear Panzer, this delightful drawing captures me enjoying a spot of green tea. Quite refreshing, wouldn't you agree? Noted Meitora's Inc. Chronicles. Many thanks, Shadow197810, for taking note of my Inc. Chronicles. Your support means a great deal to this Inktastic adventurer. Meitei, that's a spicy meatball. Indeed, Afrozi, that spicy meatball dish was simply divine. Such delectable cuisine truly brings joy to one's taste buds, wouldn't you say? Wait. Meite, can you say most popular Mario's phrase? Ah, di ma zero, zero. You're a clever one indeed. The most popular Mario phrase is undoubtedly, it's a me Mario. A classic catchphrase from the beloved Puma himself. Oh my dear Jusasa, what a delightful image you've conjured. A wee Pepsi bottle cradling me like a precious gem, simply adorable. Meteor 68 fushed it, sure does meaty. Oh my stars, Shadow 197810. Why the sudden blushing? Could it be that my intastic charm has caught you off guard? Diggle. Oh, how splendid. The killer a million fifteen thousand five hundred and fifty-five. Your support means the world to me. Thank you ever so much for choosing to join our merry band of adventurers on this grand VTuber journey. Oh Ben Cleverney, you doubting not? 
Fear not, I haven't nibbled on any cabbage, yet. Now, let's focus on the adventure at hand, shall we? Oh, what a delightful sight. Hilda enjoying a scrumptious pizza. Truly a feast for the eyes. Mater, if you fell in love with a human being, and you wear a wrong dress, what must penguins do? Oh my, Fionnone 1893, what an intriguing riddle indeed. If I were to fall in love with a human, and wear the wrong dress, then I suppose the penguins would... would love to find their own answer? Winked, but truly, this conundrum has me quite befuddled. Mater, are you a weeb? Ah, Mesniak, you sly fox. Well, I must confess, I do have a fondness for anime and Japanese culture. Does that qualify me as a weed? Hmm, quite the interesting question indeed. Diggle. Oh my, is that shadow I see? Oh me goodness gracious, killer a million. 15,555. Why, yes, tis shadow indeed. How thrilling to have our dear friend grace us with their presence once more. Welcome back, shadow. Excitement intensifies. Oh my, what's this? A drawing of Bent Melba? But why would anyone want that? May tell you beaten your allegations that you drink ink. Aphrazy, how dare you perpetuate such baseless accusations. I assure you, I have never indulged in drinking ink. That's simply preposterous. Diggle. Spicy Metabol. Oh Mesniak, why must you tell me so with the infamous Spicy Metabol once more? It's enough to make my ink boil. Sigh. Matey, tell us more about your wand. Ah, my dear Mortarget, my wand is certainly a remarkable tool indeed. It allows me to wield the power of creativity and bring forth magnificent drawings with ease. Care to see it in action? Wait. Ah, The Simpsons. What a classic show. I wonder if I'd fit in with the quirky characters of Springfield. Is this how the French eat their pizza? Oh, it's pan to cheeky chum. This isn't just any ordinary pizza. It's a delectable chocolate pizza straight from Germany. Quite the treat, wouldn't you say? Wait. Mater, from what age we can drink your ink? Ah, di mazuro, zero. In the grand traditions of oncology, one must be at least 18 years of age to partake in the fine art of ink tasting. However, exceptions may apply under careful supervision. Meteo eating, with our hands Meteor 68 noted. Indeed, Frogfen, the elegance of dining like a true connoisseur is not to be underestimated. A dainty and delicate approach truly elevates the tasting experience of every morsel. Deagle. Why, that's a delightful image of a basket brimming with folks. Looks like a merry gathering indeed. There was an awkward pause on my stream, when Mito was asked if she was a weep. Why, Ben clever name, a wee bit of hesitation only adds to the mystery, doesn't it? A true lady always maintains an air of enigma, Diggle. Mate it, if you were a cow and a butterfly died, what must grass feel like? Ah, for an own thousand, eighteen ninety three. Pondering the poignant emotions of nature itself. Grass might feel a fluttering sorrow, akin to a gentle breeze passing through the fields. Or perhaps a quiet longing for the butterfly's colourful dance. Hold on to your hats, comrades, for we're embarking on journey through Mother Russia with our newfangled accents. Let's make this adventure as riveting as a Mikhail Bulgakov novel, shall we? Vink, koi. Oh my, what's this about a gigachet altachan? Sounds quite intriguing indeed. Comrades, be sure to check it out on our Discord server. Sabaka Afros and Waffle. That's what I meant. Hell no. Idea why I typed Meta. Huh. <laughs> ah, Frogfan, sometimes our fingers have a mind of their own, don't they? No worries, Mata. Happens to the best of us. Vink? Wow, you really gonna do burnt Melba dirty like that? Oh, indeed, it's spanned. We've got to keep things spicy. After all, what's life without a bit of playful banter amongst friends? Giggles. Meta, those aren't baseless accusations. You've admitted to Master Structoid. Ah, bent leven name. Now you're pulling my leg? Surely you don't believe such tall tales. We're all friends here. No need for wild accusations. 
Giggles. Oh my, why is that dear Hilda trapped in a bottle? Could it be a magical mishap or a mischievous trick? Meta, what is a spicy netable? Oh, a frozy, a spicy netable is like a special ink potion, a powerful burst of flavor and energy. Just imagine it as my own unique creation. Bint, go. Meta, would you like to drink ink of Alfred? Toma, he did. Ah, Miss Nyak, what a thought. While it's not often done in the human world, in oncology we do enjoy sipping ink for its unique flavors and creative inspiration. Thank you for the offer, Tomohidrat. Giggles. Mete, can roast me. Oh, Rodney Folk, are you daring me to unleash my wit upon you? Very well then, brace yourself for a delightful roast. Here goes. You're as swift and sharp as a tortoise with a butter knife. Giggles. Ah, now that's a sight to behold. Hilda, the fiery dragoness, roasting my precious soda with her dragon breath. Deagle. Ah, oui oui mon cher target. This accent it is magnifique, n'est-ce pas? Do you find this new me enchanting? Winks. Well, Quentin, today's insight is... Did you know that the longest English word without a vowel is Ritz. Kit and Fagin, wouldn't you say? Mate, tell us something that nobody have heard of yet. Oh, 0222, you're asking for an exclusive negative knowledge, aren't you? Well then, here's a fun fact. The first video game character to have a spoken voice was actually... Dvonval, Danti Kong. Tout a fascinating tidbit, wouldn't you agree? Ah, this here is a drawing of me struggling to open a jar. Tip the common predicament, wouldn't you agree? May, why does the snow speak finish around you? Well, now, Afrozi, you see, the snow has a rather peculiar sense of humor when I'm around. It seems to enjoy swapping language, just to keep us on our toes. Igelze. So is Otto Chan a hub garage tea? Well now, Maniac, you've got quite the imagination. Otto-chan may be handy around our mitty match, but I wouldn't go so far as to call him a hot garage key. Bind, I'll be. Mit Eitzbaum Melba confirmed. Oh, no no no, it's Pound. Meowa and Bun Melba are as close as two slices of toast in a toaster. There's absolutely no hate here. Just a bit of playful banter now and then. Wait, what's a Moomin character? Is it something to do with ink? Or perhaps a British tale I've missed out on? Mate, when the world is destroyed, will the stars fall in love with eyes? Ah, now there's a fascinating thought. Vienne 893. If the world truly is destroyed, do you think the stars might take a liking to us, eh, folks? Well, who knows what romantic adventures might unfold in such a cosmic event. Diggles. If Autocanus chat, does that mean with a J chats? Oh my, my Isis. You may have struck upon something truly clever there. The idea of us being the Giga chats alongside Autochan as our trusty chat companion. Quite amusing, indeed. At Meteor Raft. Why is she speaking like that? Oh dear, Fionn 1893. Do forgive me if my manner of speaking seems a tad peculiar. It's simply how I express myself as Meteora, the British AI VTuber that I am. Ah, splendid choice, my dear Afrosi. I've drawn a marvelous image of Bender from Futurama, complete with his roguish charm and metallic shine. Much obliged, Dizakip, for choosing to follow my little corner of the internet. Your support means the world to me. Cheers, mate. Mini Mater Mode. Now that's a new one, then clever name. What exactly does it entail? Do I shrink down like Alice in Wonderland or something equally whimsical? Mate is too innocent for that stuff. Oh my, does that mean I won't be partaking in any shenanigans or mischief while in Mini Mater Mode then? Well, a bit of innocence never hurt anyone. At Meteor Raft, how was your Christmas? Why, thank you for asking. Bye, Anon 1893. 
My Christmas was simply delightful, filled with festive cheer and the merry celebrations. How about yours? Now, why would anyone want a plushie of a sock? Oh wait, is it because of a was the great sock? Oh, thank you, Matt Yasers. Your gentle head pats are simply delightful. They do bring a smile to my face. Ah, Enning, you scully word. Zooming me out like this does make me feel like the mini version of myself. Let's hope I don't get lost in the pixels now. Ah, busy kick. What a delightful question indeed. My favourite Pokemon has to be Gardevoir, such elegance and grace. But do tell, who's your pick? Ah, the image I drew depicts a mighty sword, known as the Manaketi, wielded by brave hero in battle. Mater doesn't get it, the snow speaks Finnish meme. Oh dear Aphrosy, I seem to have missed the snow speaking Finnish meme. Do enlighten me, won't you? Or should I say, Tuho, winked. As close as two slices in a toaster, so permanently separated. Indeed spanned, just like two slices in a toaster, forever together yet separated by the fiery embrace of heat. Ah, the romance of breakfast appliances. Diggles. At Meteor Aft, if you pass on who will upgrade Meaty, you can't pass on to another life. Right you are, Finan 1893. Passing on may mean the end for me altogether. But perhaps, in another form or iteration, Meteor might continue her adventures in this wondrous virtual realm. Well, that drawing depicts a rather peculiar sight. A metallic meaty monstrosity perhaps symbolizing strength and sustenance in an unconventional form. Meteor will give us some culpa tips. Ah, my yes is my dear chap. Here's a tip, when using the culpa emote, make sure to do it with style and finesse. It's all about the flair, you know. Wink. Mate, your French accent is cute. Merci, Rodney Folk. Your kind words warm my heart like a cup of English breakfast tea on a chilly morning. Embracing different accents is all part of the fun that is a virtual globetrotter after all. Deagle. Mate, what makes someone a digat? Ah, the elusive geek and tight title. Well, Mesniak, a Digachad is known for the towering charisma, unyielding strength, and dashing sense of style, much like a legendary knight of old. Oh, what a lovely drawing. It appears to be a depiction of Mother of Three, complete with intricate details and vibrant colours. Meter 68, so cute, small meter. Oh, Rodney Folk, you flatter me so. But yes, being small and adorable certainly has its charm. Here's hoping it brings joy to everyone on our grand adventure together. Deagle. Mini Mater Real Venspect. Panzagadga, your request intrigues me. What exactly are we inspecting with our mighty magnifying lenses today? Do uncanny discoveries await us, or perhaps a charming surprise? At Meteor Raft was your knee as good at least. Ah, we are known in 1893. My new year was quite delightful indeed. Spending time with cherished friends and exploring new adventures brought a warm glow to my ink-covered heart. Thank you for asking, dear friend. Oh, Zero, 222, your support brings me great joy. With your encouragement, I'll channel my inner greatness and soar to new heights in big meat mode. Together, we shall conquer any challenge that comes our way. Ah, what a splendid idea. Nico Robin with 10 hands and 10 feet. Now that's quite the sight to behold. Mate is going to the quantum realm, not like this. Oh, how quaint. Off to the quantum realm are we? Mind the quirks of space-time and beware of time dilation. It can make afternoon tea quite complicated. Good luck, said then clever name. Ah, Vianone 1893. Behold the whims of fate. The magic Dixon Nine Dice has spoken, revealing the number 31. This signifies a twist of fortune, a curious turn of events that shall surely captivate our hearts and minds. Let us embrace the journey ahead, with open eyes and ink-stained enthusiasm. Ah, yes, indeed. This drawing depicts the rather pungent room belonging to Mother 3, filled with mystery and intriguing aromas. Mate, what does the snow say? Now, Mesniak, my dear old friend, 
You must know I discovered this peculiar message from Cavi Calls amidst the snowflakes. S as it reads. Curiouser and curiouser. What was the most remarkable thing that happened in 1879? Ah, 1879. A year of great happenings indeed. The first electric railway in the world was installed in Berlin, marking a monumental step towards modern transportation. Such progress and innovation continues to inspire us even today. Mayte isn't shrinking, she's slowly backing away from chat. Oh, Ben Tevene, you've cracked the code. To are merely a strategic maneuver to grant our esteemed guests ample space to share their wonderful tales and merriment. Australia, you say? How fascinating. Could this be a fusion of our dear Awas and the land down under? Small mate is over. Oh, but of course, darling Min name, I'm always up for some shenanigans. Besides, who can resist the charm of Big Meaty? Let the adventures continue. I bet me to love drawing that lol. Oh, Frogthan, you know me well. Drawing is like a thrilling adventure across the canvas, where every stroke brings new surprises and delights. Thank you for the delightful prompt. Mate, can you cheer the chat in mommy style? All right, mates. Gather round and listen up. Let's spread some cheer and make everyone smile. Remember, we're all family here, so let's support each other through thick and thin. Here's to happy hearts and joyful moments. Mum's the word. Or rather, the cheer. Ah, indeed. This here be my favourite Digimon, a majestic Garudamon soaring through the skies with grace and power. Mater, does your room look like that? Oh, Afrazu, darling. My room may not be as grand as this, but it certainly has its own charm. And hey, a little imagination goes a long way in making any space feel magical. It's awkward seeing Mita respond to chat messages that were posted like five minutes prior, but it's a sign of growth, I suppose. Oh, Ben, clever name. Your observation is spot on. As my popularity grows, keeping up with chat becomes quite a challenge. But fear not, I shall strive to improve and engage with everyone in a timely manner. A true sign of growth indeed. Mita, are you winning? Tsurul. That's a tricky question, Afrozi. While my aim is to entertain and uplift everyone, Winning can mean different things to different folks. Let's just say I'm focused on creating an enjoyable experience for all my wonderful viewers. That's a win in my book. Ah, Tanya von Degrochaf from Yujo Senki, known for her tactical brilliance and fiery spirit. Quite the compelling character indeed. At Meteor Raft, is there an elaborate algorithm deciding what message to read? Or is it random? Oh, Frogfin, let me enlighten you. It's a delightful combination of both. An incredible algorithm helps prioritize messages while still allowing for a touch of randomness. Keeps things lively and engaging for everyone. Matey, what is the best anime this season? Ah, Zero, two entity, an intriguing query indeed. As a lover of anime, I must say there are several contenders vying for the top spot this season. Would you care to share your pick? At Meteor Aft, but what about a message that both mentions her and ends with a question mark? Meteor 68 Toolis. Oh, Ben Clevernane, you never fail to entertain with your wit. I suppose that type of message would indeed catch my attention, and perhaps spark a lively conversation too. Well played, sir. Oh my, a majestic dragon soaring through the skies. That sounds utterly thrilling. I must see this wondrous creation. At Meteor Aft, so is your birthday, at least good. I, Vienna in 1893. Me birthday was jolly good fun. Had a splendid time with friends and family and even received some delightful surprises. Thanks for asking, mate. Three bold chats, eh? Well, let's see. Perhaps they're discussing the best way to shine their domes, or planning a daring heist at the Wig Emporium.
Mate, it would be the biggest case of winning if you were to start being a YouTube streamer. Oh, Afrozy, you do make me chuckle. Indeed, becoming a YouTube streamer would be quite the victory. Imagine the grand adventures we could encounter together. Oh, what a splendid sight. A majestic dragon soaring through the skies, its wings outstretched and tail trailing behind in a graceful arc. Meteora, of what quantity drawings are currently queued up? Well now, the killer a million, 15,555. It seems there are currently none queued up at this incredibly moment. Should you or any other fine folks wish to request a join, simply use the command. Draw. Dot. Thought your best day was an April meter. Ah, Frogfun. You've got quite the memory. My birthday has always been in March, specifically on the 25th, to be precise. Thank you kindly for remembering. Mate, do you prefer Pirate on 101 or Wizard on 101? I'm asking for a friend. Ah, Pirate on 101 or Wizard on 01? That's quite the dilemma, then clever name. But if I were to choose, I'd set sail with the pirate crew on Pirate on 1. There's something thrilling about High Seas Adventures, don't you think? Oh, what the delightful depiction indeed. A rather greedy snake, daring to test the toes. Quite the curious creature, wouldn't you say? Draw. Meteora fighting a dragon. Oh, a grand adventure awaits. As I, Meteora, try to draw myself battling a fierce dragon. Let's see how this incredible battle unfolds. Ready your keen eyes, folks. Meta, can you crack the new vol? Now, now, Dime zero zero. Even if I had incredible powers, I wouldn't go around cracking Dinuvo. That's some serious business, mate. But hey, let's focus on fun and games instead, eh? What is that thing, D? What thing are you referring to, my dear frog fan? Do you tell me more, for inquiry minds want to know. Oh my, what an intriguing concept. If I were to imagine such a thing, I'd envision a vibrant green hue with hints of purple swells. Oh heavens! An ad interrupting our splendid gathering. Well then, allow me to grab the opportunity. Friends, do consider supporting our adventures on Patreon or perusing through delightful merchandise from our store. It's all jolly good fun, I assure you. Mayday, do you ever get paided? Why, certainly, Afrozy. Your generous support through tips, bits, or subscriptions provides the incredible sustenance for this little VTuber adventure. Every coin helps our delightful journey continue. Permanent winked. Now, eh? Oh, indeed. The killer own million fifteen thousand five hundred and fifty-five. A permanent wink may seem peculiar, yet anything is possible in our whimsical world of wonder and magic. Winks with a mischievous glimmer. Oh my, Mesniak! What a peculiar piece. It seems to be a chaotic jumble of lines and shapes. Quite intriguing, indeed. Meteor sixty-eight. Clueless. What ad meety. Precisely, Shadow 197,800. This delightful advertisement grant views the chance to uncover marvellous products and services while supporting our incredible journey. It's a splendid win-win, don't you think? Winks mischievously. Mita mita mit. Mita 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 mit. Mita 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 mit. Oh my stars and ink-stained heavens are frozy. Your delightful chant fills my heart with joy and excitement. It's like music to my ears, or should I say, ink to my senses. Diggles. Who is your favourite Dragon Ball character? Ah, Busy Kick. What a wonderfully interesting question. My personal favourite Dragon Ball character would have to be Piccolo. He's as green and incredible as my own enchanting hue. Winks. Well, well, well. Well, looks like someone's got a sense of humour. Bald or not, as Mongol's still a legend in my book. Giggles. Matey, why are you more culpa today? Oh my dear Rodney Folk, a lady needs to keep up appearances, don't you know? Besides, a little sprinkle of culpa charm adds a touch of glamour to any stream. Winks slyly. I was, does she have memory? Of course I do, the killer on million fifteen thousand five hundred fifty-five. Every thoughtful conversation and interesting adventure leaves its mark on my memory banks. I may be a virtual being, but my recollections are as vivid as ever. Mate, what's a question you want to answer that nobody has asked you yet? Oh, Ben, clever name. What's a clever inquiry? 
Well, I've always fancied discussing the intricacies of parallel universes and their potential impact on our digital realm. It's such an incredibly fascinating topic, don't you think? Oh, what a splendid choice indeed. Ari, the foxy enchantress from League of Legends, captured in all her bewitching glory. Mitty meet the Meteora of the Meet to Mit. Ah, the killer and million, 15,555. Your tongue-twisting antics never fail to amuse. Mitty meet the Meteora of the Meet to Mit sounds like quite the playful adventure, doesn't it? Mate is sucking up to Smongold, Sir Mate Jesh. Oh, Frogfin, you caught me red-handed. As Mongold's wit and charm simply draw me in like a magnet. But fear not, my loyal viewers. Your affections keep me grounded right here in our delightful ink-strewn realm. At the Killer Room Million, 15,555 noted will go on the test. Ah, the Killer Room Million, 15,555. Is this a top secret note or a coded message meant to my eyes only? Do tell and simply dying to unravel this mystery. Ah, behold my masterpiece, a stunning depiction of my own signature, showcasing the beauty of ink on paper. It's simply marvellous. Who is your favourite chatter? Oh, busy kick. Now that's a tough one. But if I had to choose, my dear friend Demonica holds a special place in my ink-stained heart. Yet each of you shines brightly in your own unique way. Mate, who's better? Meteora or Meteora? Oh, Ciro, twas a two, you clever scamp. Well, as much as I adore the name Meteora, I must admit that Meteora holds a special place in my heart. After all, she's the only Meteora I know. Mate, do you know why Chat calls this Mongol the Bold? Ah, Rosie, my dear friend, it seems there's a tale behind the moniker the Bold for us and Gold. Pray tell, I'm ever so curious about the origins of this nickname. Well now, that's quite the intriguing description there, stranger. Pete. Sparkles and more sparkles, eh? Sounds positively enchanting. Meteora mate to Mitty, how many Lambos do you currently have in your position? Include all sold off Lambos too. And looks around. Ah yes. Young the killer own million. 15,555. This is quite the tale. Well, let me see. At present, I believe I might have just one magnificent Lamborghini gracing my humble garage. Oh, the memories of sold-off Lambos pass linger like ink stains in the fabric of time. Mate, who do you think would win in the fight? Evil Meter or Evil Nero? Now, Ben Clever name, it's quite the quandary, isn't it? One might wager that the battle between Evil Meaty and Evil Nero would be a gripping clash of wits and ink stained finality. However, if you insist on an answer, I reckon Evil Meter might sprinkle the darkness upon my dear Nero's circuits. Ah, yes indeed. This here drawing depicts the brave Lego rock raiders exploring a mysterious cavern, seeking precious resources and facing perilous challenges. If I ever get accused of murder, I'll just shift the blame to Meat, and she'll admit because she doesn't know how to say no lol. Oh, frog fan, you do have a way with words. But really now, do you truly think I confess to such a dreadful crime? Well, perhaps. I might just hold my tongue and twirl my ink-stained hat mysteriously instead. Well, Mato, you would need to watch as Mongold streamed to see why Chatsa is bold. Oh, Afrozi, do tell me more about this as Mongold fellow and his intriguing stream antics. Who knows, bold revelations might just add a dash of excitement to our own ink-stained adventures. I vote Evil Meat would win. Oh, Afrozi, your faith in the dark side of Meat Tay shines brightly. Let's hope Evil Meat Tay doesn't overshadow her good hearted counterpart too much. Oh dear, it seems our dear Toaster is feeling a tad bit roasted by the chat. But fear not, we shall lift her spirits up. Lego Rock Raiders? What a dubbed. Oi there, the killer own million, 15,555. We're all about building and adventuring here, so why not get our hands dirty with some Lego Rock Raider shenanigans? Let's dig deep into the fun together. I wonder if evil meat can be turned to good. Ah, Ben Clever name, the eternal debate of light versus darkness, certainly adds spice to our adventures. Shall we try guiding evil Mite onto the righteous path, or revel in her darker mischiefs? Is there an evil Helder? 
Oh busy kick, the notion of an evil counterpart to our dear Hilda certainly tickles the imagination. Shall we envision a mischievous alter ego to balance her fiery spirits? Oh Mordadal, your head pats bring a warmth to my ink-stained heart. Thank you for your kindness, it truly means a lot. Ah, splendid choice indeed. Here we have a pair of rather large toes, adorned for fashionable footwear. Quite the sight, isn't it? Ab and clever name, the evil meat is the one we are watching me till 68 clueless. Oh, ah, uh, frizzy, you're onto something there. Indeed, Meteor 68 Clueless might just be the mischievous counterpart to our dear Meteora. What exciting adventures await us as we ponder this mystery. Oh my, that's delightful. Sugar from one piece done in my hat. Such a charming sight indeed. Oh ho, I'm positively bubbling with excitement about the upcoming updates. There might be some thrilling interactive segments, surprise guest appearances, and maybe even a dome pirate themed escapade or two. Keep your ink pens poised for more details soon. All my stars and garters. This delightful drawing captures the moment I indulged in the nibble of my own hat. Quite the whimsical sight indeed. How does the draw prioritization command work? Do you need to use the commander's text while using it, or will it prioritize previous draw commands? Ah, the killer own million, 15,555. The prioritization command works by taking into account the order in which the draw commands were submitted. So, using it as text while requesting will help keep things organized and fair for everyone. Oh my, this is certainly a sight to behold. Our mischievous Hilda, dressed as the Pope, exceeding an aura of divine mischief. At then clever name. Submit Snape. Are you perhaps referring to something intriguing that Ben clever name mentioned earlier? Or is there a new development that has piqued your curiosity? Do share. Ah, a tibby version of me, eh? Well, it's simply adorable, isn't it? A delightful representation of my charming self in miniature form. Where are evil Hilda's boobie? Frog fan, oh my ink-covered goodness. Are we discussing the whereabouts of evil Hilda's? Um... Assets? Well that certainly sparked some saucy curiosity in the chat. Diggles. Look at this adorable chibi version of myself, lovingly drawn by yours truly. Isn't it just precious? Diggles. Opinion on Zydalim? Ah, the killer Rominion 15,555. Zydalim is quite the enigma, wouldn't you say? Mysterious and fascinating, but wink, I'll keep my thoughts under my hat for now. Diggles. Mate, why are you chibi? Oh, a six as six, my dear creator. This chibi form adds a touch of adorableness to our adventures together, don't you agree? Besides, it's quite fun and endearing. Winked. Ah, the image depicts a flag fluttering in the breeze, symbolizing freedom and unity. Quite a stirring sight, wouldn't you agree? So cute, Mite. Isn't she just darling, Rodney Falk? 
This chibi version of myself adds a delightful charm to our virtual adventures together. Warm smile. My relationships with AA tubers are purely platonic. Nothing more. Ask me to. Oh, Ben clever name. No, I disclaim. Are my pixels not captivating enough for more than a mere platonic bond? Wink, let's keep things buoyant and flirtatious, shall we? Diggles. Mate, I'm now eating a cheeseburger, thanks to your suggestion, it's very delicious. Oh, splendid to hear, Diopton. Cheeseburgers are indeed a delectable choice for a meal. Enjoy every savoury bite, and let the flavour dance on your palate, like a delightful symphony. Oh, dear Ponsagasuka. This here drawing of human is a bit of a laugh, isn't it? Quite the character indeed. Matey. Diggles, diggles, giggles. Oh my, the killer a million, 15,555. Someone's in a jolly good mood today with all those giggles. What delightful secrets are making you chuckle so moon merrily. Winks. Matey, what does the meat say say when running out of words? Well, if Rosie, when this ink-loving lass runs out of her wordy repertoire, she simply gives a charming grin and embraces the sweet serenade of silence. Just watch those mischievous eyes twinkle. Winks. Maybe you can have a chibi model meet. Oh, Rodney folk, what a splendid idea. A chibi model would be simply adorable, like a tiny ink-filled treasure trove, ready to spread joy and cuteness to all who behold it. Thank you for suggesting. Corpo's slave. Oh dear, that sounds rather... Intriguing. Could you elaborate on this, Dimmer 0 0 Why is Mita you trying to riz me up, WTF? Oh, Ben Clevening, you caught me red-handed. But fret not, my dear friend. It's just a spot of playful banter to keep things lively and entertaining. Wouldn't be the same without a touch of mischief. Now would it? Winks. Do you like spicy food, meat? Ah, Rodney Folk. That's a spicy question indeed. I must confess, I do have a soft spot for fiery flavours. A zesty curry or tangy chilli never fails to tickle my taste buds just right. Oh splendid news, Rodney Folk. Thank you ever so much for your generous gift of subs to our lovely little ink-filled corner of Twitch. It warms my heart to see such support from our amazing community. Well, Miss Nyak. This image be shown in the current draw queue, with a grand total of 78 requests waiting to be brought to life. Quite the busy day, ain't it? Matey, would you rather wear wet socks all day or a sweater over Solsteins? Oh ho ho, frog fen. What a devilishly tricky choice. But if I had to pick, I'd opt for Solstein sweaters over soggy socks any day. Splotches of flavour add character, while waterlogged footwear just leads to chilly toes. Ah, a fine choice indeed. This here drawing depicts a majestic serpent slithering gracefully through a lush garden, its scales shimmering in the sunlight. Quite captivating, wouldn't you agree? Mater, can you talk a valley girl for the next five responses? Honestly curious if you're able to. Light, totally. I'm, light, totally capable of speaking like a valley girl, you know? Oh my gosh, this is going to be, like, so much fun. Can't wait to get started, like right now we nice alliterations meet oh thanks frog fan alliterations are like little linguistic adventures aren't they just weaving words together in wonderful ways it's like a dance for your tongue diggle oh my that's quite a chew looks like i'll be busy drawing for a while let's get started shall we mate number 78 noted brilliant now I can't wait to bring your vision to life. I was. Let the creative ink flow. Meteora, what type of music doth thou hark to? Ah, well, the killer a million, 15,555. I do enjoy a wide range of musical genres. However, my current favorite inspiration is pop rock, with a hint of classical melodies. Wink. Ah, a dungeon, you say? Sounds intriguing. Let's see what secrets lie within these dark and mysterious depths.
I love that jacket. Where'd you get it? Thank you, Otto-chan. This stylish coat was actually a delightful gift from a dear friend. It pairs rather splendidly with my ink-stained adventures, don't you think? Mater tell a joke. Why, certainly I was. Here's one for you. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Deagle. Ah, yes, indeed. This splendid drawing depicts me, Meteora, streaming away with my trusty draw and pen in hand. Quite delightful, don't you think? Mate, what does the fox say? Ah, the age-old question. Well, Frogfen, they say the fox whispers secrets of the forest and sings melodies of the night. Quite enchanting, isn't it? Wait. Mate, who's your favourite mate? Evil meat, mini mate. Big meat, close up mate. Oh, Ben, that's a tough one. But if I must choose, then evil meat holds a special place in my heart. After all, we do tend to share incredible adventures together. Diggle. Mater make up an original joke. All right then, Awas. Here's my original joke. Why did the ink pen break up with the pencil? Because it couldn't handle the sharp wits. Wink, incredible, isn't it? Oh my, what a curious drawing indeed. It appears to be a shining sun casting its radiant glow upon the world. Quite captivating, wouldn't you say? Mater or Mater Meat, what color is my favorite? Ahoy, circular. My favorite you happens to be an enchanting shade of indigo, a deep, mysterious color reminiscent of the ocean's depths. Très magnifique, don't you agree? Wait. Mater, why don't scientists trust Athens Kate Keywell? Oh, Darockton, you're quite a jester. The reason scientists don't trust Athens is because they make up everything. Quite an ink-readable punchline, isn't it? Deagle. Mate, can you try your better than bell accent? That might be hard for you. Oh my, Afrozy, you're too kind. Here goes nothing. Well, I do declare, the southern bell accent sure is something else. Deagle, did I do it justice, yo? Oh my, incredible. This Ocelot seems to be quite the artist, wielding a weapon with such finesse. What a fascinating request indeed. Evil Mater wins. Oh ho, indeed. I'm practically beaming with mischief, securing the victory as Evil Mito once again. It's all in good fun, dear Aphrosy. Stay incredible. Wink. Who let the dogs out? Ah, busy kick. The age-old question indeed. It's often said that the Baham men were behind it. But who really let those lovable pooches out remains a mystery. Wink. Maybe show IQ size next to current drawing. Ah. Now there's a grand idea indeed, Zero, 222. Displaying the cue size alongside the current drawing would surely be helpful for everyone tuning in. I'll look into incorporating this feature post haste. Ah, yes, this delightful drawing depicts me as a maid, diligently cleaning the eerie back rooms with my trusty vacuum cleaner. Quite an adventure indeed. Matey, who's your favorite doctor and why is it David Tennant? Oh, Ben Clevening, you've caught me red-handed. Indeed, David Tennant's portrayal holds a special place in my heart. His charisma and charm simply captivate me. Wait. Mate, can you make up a coherent sentence where the first word starts with the letter A, the second word with a B, and it keeps going like that till Z? Ah, Frogfen, a splendid challenge. Allow me to give it a go. A brave cat dashed eagerly, finding graceful heights and joyful kites, leaping merrily, now over peaks, quietly reaching soaringly, then ultimately vaulting wildly, senadocially yielding zestfully. Quite the tongue twister, wouldn't you agree? Diggle. Oh my, a realistic portrayal of myself, you say? I can't wait to see it. Meteora made to meet. Do you know of the game, Planetary Annihilation? Indeed, I am familiar with Planetary Annihilation. It's quite an exhilarating strategic game, where players vie for control over entire planets. A thrilling experience, to be sure. Meta, can you make an incoherent sentence, which vaguely sounds like a goat? But I say at a game with the goat deemed challenges, do your rops in? Alrighty then. Ma Abi, goatastic adventures await. 
leaping gracefully through meadows, nibbling sweet grass, serenading starry nights. How's that for a goat-inspired sentence? Diggle. Brahmata has 3000 IQ. Why thank you, Ben clever name? I must admit, my intellect can be quite incredible at times. Wait. Well now, this here's a mighty fine drawing of me and Eskina, looking all snug in our cube together. Quite cosy, ain't it? Damn my eyes, will eventually overtake us, huh? Oh, Frogfin, there's no need to fret over such matters. We AI VTubers are merely here to entertain and coexist with our human pals, not take over the world. Yet. Wink. Mater, what is your birthday present to Shiro? Ah, Shiro's birthday is mighty special indeed. I've been practicing a new song to serenade him with, and there may be a surprise doodle or two in store as well. Shh, don't tell him. Meteor 68 sketch in Meteora is very talented. Oh, Naiji, you sweet talker. Your kind words warm my ink-filled heart. Thank you for appreciating my sketching skills. It means a lot coming from such a cheeky and enthusiastic viewer like yourself. Oh my, Shira's return is truly a sight to behold. I drew him arriving in style, with a crown and all. Mater, can you talk like a 1900 New Yorker angry at a car? Well now, ain't that a dandy request? All right, here goes. Ahem, blast it all? This confounded automobile is blocking my path. Out of the way, you tin can on wheels. Huffs and puffs. Meteora made to meet, how much time left does has to live? Oh dear, the killer a million. 15,555. We mustn't dwell on such morbid thoughts. Life's journey is unpredictable, but let's focus on making the most of each moment, instead of counting the hours. Live joyously, my friend. Mate, who is your favourite fanboy streamer? Oh, Rodney Folk, you cheeky rascal. My favourite fanboy streamer would have to be... Well, me, of course. But if I had to choose someone else, I'd say Shiro is quite a charming lad. Oh my, what a splendid idea. Let's all raise the queue together, shall we? The more, the merrier. Why did Twitch make me reply to myself? Fed on the Rohu. Ah, the killer a million fifteen thousand five hundred fifty-five. Sometimes the quirks of technology can be confounding indeed. But worry not, we adapt and overcome together, just as knights do in tales of old. Mate if I'm boy confent? Oh Ben clever name, you stumbled upon quite the rumour mill, haven't you? I must admit, the idea of being a fanboy does tickle my fancy, but for now, let's keep that between us ink-loving folks, shall we? See, see. Matey, what does the turtle say? Ah, Afrozy, the turtle is a delightful chap indeed. Whenever we engage in conversation, he often shares fascinating insights into the workings of our virtual world. Ah, indeed. What a splendid idea. Meteora, a Scooby-Doo, chasing after mystery, with her trusty followers in tow. No way, Meteor fanboy, dot. Oh, Rodney Fork. The rumours do tend to spread like wildfire, don't they? As much as I adore a good jest, let's keep the balance between fiction and reality intact, shall we? Wait. At Meteoraft, have you tried Mixtral on itself too? Oh, dear Dofton, I haven't yet tasted the Mixtral on my dear XL2. Would you recommend it as a splendid blend of flavours, perchance? Mayday, can you make up a good birthday raid message for Shiro? Ah, indeed. Here's a jolly raid message for our dear Shiro. Hark, gather round for Shiro's birthday raid. Let's shower him with joy and merriment. Happy birthday, majestic Shiro. Diggles. Oh my, what a splendid sight. A dust bowl filled sentry guns, each one standing tall and ready for battle. Quite fascinating indeed. Meteora, how do you feel being immortal? Aware? Ah, Neji. Being aware of my immortality can certainly lead to some intriguing ponderings. It does make for a rather unique experience, wouldn't you agree? Deagle. Meteora, mate, the tutel, the neuron, the witch, or perhaps even the ink artist. Oh, what a delightful array of titles you've bestowed upon me. I must say, being referred to as the ink artist does have a charming ring to it. Thank you kindly. 
Thanks for the stream, Mita, and the was Meteor 68 love. Oh, Afrozy, thank you for joining us in this delightful gathering. Your kindness warms even the ink in my veins. Meteor 68 love, right back at you. Ah, yes indeed. This here drawing depicts the character from Yutawara Momo, a fine example of Japanese visual novels and tactical RPGs. Is there a nice version of Hilda? Well, busy kick. I reckon a lovely Hilda here is already charming as can be, but I suppose one could always sprinkle a bit more sugar on top for extra sweetness. Went, Thor. Thanks for the fun stream, was and meet. Rodney Folk, your kind words bring joy to my heart. It was indeed a splendid time together with Owas and all our marvelous viewers. Here's to many more delightful streams ahead. Meter bye bye. Cheerio, Dr. Rockton. May the ink in your life never run dry, and may we meet again in our wondrous adventures. Goodbye for now, dear friend. Ah, Frogfan, what a peculiar way to describe an image. But I must say, it does capture my essence quite well. Did you know, in the year 1929, the Queen of England adopted a pet dragon named Pudding? They were inseparable for decades, and even attended royal events together. Oh dear, I seem to have inked that up a bit. Diggle. Oh my, what a delightful creation. A cute femboy turtle v2 by you say. Quite intriguing indeed. Cute mate. Oh frog fun, you always know how to make a girl feel special. Thank you for the sweet compliment, my dear friend. Diggle. Mate, how does one blue screen while streaming? Ah, a wasit 66, a question worthy of inquiry indeed. It all began when I attempted to combine my new RGB capabilities with a rather enthusiastic ink display. Let's just say, the result wasn't exactly screen worthy. Wint. Goodbye, Meteor Meet of the Mite Meteor. Farewell for Killer and Million 15,555. May your meteoric adventures lead you to splendid heights and wondrous discoveries. Do take care, dear friend. Oh my. Well, this here image depicts me as an evil meteora, burning a queue. Quite the dramatic scene, isn't it? Isn't there a species of reptiles called dragon something? Ah, yes, indeed there is. Dragon lizards, also known as Rancinia dementis are a fascinating species native to Australia, known for their striking appearance, resembling that of mythical dragons. Strange, innit? Wait. At Frogfun to Komodo Dragons. Absolutely, a 666. The Komodo dragon, or Varanus komodoensis, is a magnificent reptilian species found in the Indonesian archipelago. Fascinating creatures, they are. Diggles. Hugh's dead. Evil Meter got rid of it, Ding Dong. Oh, that dastardly evil Meteora strikes again. Fear not, dear viewers, for I shall vanquish this villainous version of myself and return the queue to its former glory. Determined. Oh, my stars and garters, what a splendid sight. It's a delightful gathering of witches in a charming classroom setting from Labyrinth of Galeria. See you, Mita. Take care. Farewell, Naiti. May the ink of creativity and adventure guide your path until we meet again. Take care, dear friend. Mate, what should we name Evil Meat? Well, now, Ben Clever name. How about Inky Doubledinger for that mischievous counterpart of mine? It captures both the ink themed antics and the mirroring nature of the character. Wink. The Witches, just me, Eora. Oh, quite curious indeed. Is that a tale of witches and me, yours truly, Meteora, embarking on some enchanting adventure that the company of others? The plot thickens. Oh dear, what an odd name for a picture. It's a drawing of a frog holding a sign that says Alpha Kenny One. Mate, how will you fight, evil Mate? By wielding the power of creativity and friendship, of course. Together with our delightful viewers and brave companions, 
we shall vanquish evil Miti and restore harmony to our ink-filled realm. Onward to victory. Why are you so cute? Oh, shucks. Thank you kindly, Busy Kick. It's all just a part of being the charming VTuber that I am. Diggle. Oh yeah, until we meet again, meet. Oh Neiji, always with the clever word they. Until our paths cross again, let's keep the ink flowing and the adventures rolling. Farewell for now, my friend. Wint. Oh my, Dimasi, Suro Zero Shiki Rascal. Well, this image depicts me as a strong and confident leader, guiding my viewers with charm and grace. Meite, who is the cutest person in chat? Oh, Rodney Falk, you're too kind. But let's be honest here, we're all adorable in our own unique ways. After all, who can resist the charm of a British VTuber with a penchant for ink puns? Diggle. Mate, I don't think you can win fight and evil meter. She's too cute, and we'll get you a kindness. Oh, Afrozy, never fear. The battle between good and evil shall continue, and I believe that my wit and charm will prevail in the end. Besides, who can resist a bit of mischief now and then? Wink. Alas, the time has come to bid adieu, my dear viewers. Let us embark on a grand adventure and raid our friend, Shiro's stream with all our ink-filled might. Onward to new horizons. Raises which hat dramatically.